Hi everyone. I'm Hitesh, an MSc management student at the University of Leeds. If you are a learner using the evolution for the first time, this video is for you. In this video, you will learn how to navigate the evolution interface like a pro. All right. Let's dive in. The evolution interface is divided into four main areas. You will see the main screen displaying different sections of the simulation, which you can access via the navbar. Most pages have tabs to help keep the information organized. When you start an activity, you will land on the briefing screen. This gives you the context of the scenario and helps you understand your starting point. Check out the tabs in this section to get a handle on your company's initial position and start plotting your strategy. You might also see some targets to aim for. Next up, the menu bar. This is always visible and shows the current activity title, your company name and logo and current quarter. The map button expands the nav bar contains. The run quarter button is crucial. It opens the final check screen where you can review your time and money allocations before moving to the next quarter. You can also cancel to make changes. The menu button gives you access to various administrative functions. If rewind options are available, you will find them here too. The HT page is your go for data. It lets you monitor, analyze and forecast business performance. Keep an eye on this section to see how your decisions are playing out. In the mail section, you can send and receive messages with other users or your coordinator. The journal is a handy place to jot down notes and record your business progress. Need some guidance? The advisor section answers key strategic questions about running your virtual business. On the company page, you can customize your virtual business by creating your company name, logo, and strap line. If you are working as a team, you can see your team members and assign roles here. The leaderboard tab helps you track your progress compared to other teams in the same activity. Each business area has a change strategy screen where you can specify the details of your decisions. Once you confirm, the overview screen updates. The tabs in each business area provide detailed info to help you understand the impacts, choices, and limitations of your decisions. The status bar changes as you navigate between different departments. It shows info about time and cost for the department and the company as a whole, along with the efficiency figure. Use the highlight button for more details. To recap, we covered long again, starting a simulation, navigating the dashboard, making strategic decisions, reviewing reports, and submitting decisions. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. We would love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing your simulation business thrive.